Stop wasting time posting duplicate content. Must be drowning in endless cycle of content, posting across platforms. Stop the madness. This video, I will unveil how to use N8N to automate posting your content across TikTok, Instagram Shorts, as well as YouTube Shorts. Content creators are spending too much time manually posting videos across multiple platforms, leading to burnout and inefficiency. By the end of this video, you will have a powerful automation workflow in place, allowing you to post a video once on TikTok and automatically share it across Instagram Shorts and YouTube Shorts. Let's get started. I'm gonna quickly show you a demo and then I'll tell you exactly what I'm doing to automate the whole process. So I have a TikTok video ID, copied over, I run my automation, it gives me a form, copy paste the uh, TikTok ID, run the automation, and check what's happening behind the scenes. It's going through all the steps to uh, download the video from TikTok, upload it on YouTube, and then upload it on Instagram. I'll provide a link below so you can sign up to N8N. It's an API-based automation platform. Uh, think of Make, uh, or Zapier, but even better, cheaper, faster, and it also has a lot of uh, capabilities uh, to connect with OpenAI Assistant API, as well as create your own assistants with custom functions. It saves me so much time in my day-to-day -day process, and then it also gives me three times more the reach, and it could do the same for you. If you're a content creator or a business who's making content, this could save you tons of time. Uh, so that you can focus on more important things in your business and uh, don't have to duplicate content over and over again manually. So with N8N, you can make custom automations with a node-based API framework that you can either host through their own website or you can install it locally on GitHub, uh, which uh, would be absolutely free for you to then run N8N. And if you want to use their services, it's really cheap. Uh, it starts at $20 a month and you could get a lot of automations done uh, just with that. All right, let's get on with the video. So let's go ahead and find the components we need to set up the automation. I shopped around and this is the best TikTok API I found so far to download TikTok videos. And uh, the pricing is uh, pretty much free. You can get 200 uh, calls done uh, for, uh, free, uh, but if you want more, the pricing is cheap as well. So this is what you're going to do. I'm going to have this open on one tab and then show you exactly what's going on for each node. The first node is pretty much N8N's native form uh, uh, trigger. And this will allow you to put in the video ID like I showed you and then, um, and then push the video ID to the next step. Next up, I have a HTTP a node. This is going to call the API, the TikTok API that I just showed you, and it's gonna download this particular video. So I'm gonna have them uh, placed side by side so you can see exactly the fields that I'm inputting into the uh, configuration. You have the URL. You have to set it up as a GET request with the Rapid API URL, where you're going to get this from the configuration at Rapid API. Then you're going to also copy over your API key as well as the host. You will get those fields here at the configuration as well. Okay, next up you have the parameter. So under parameters, you have the link. So for the link, it's going to be it's going to be uh, this field here under rapid api link just replace the suffix here the, which with your video id and that id is going to be pretty much that id that we put it into the form field you can just drag and drop and you'll notice that it populates um, the end of that link so you just make sure the link there's the white space and it is dynamic. So every time you put in a new uh, ID, it's just gonna um, refer to that uh, new link. Next up, I need to create a function that trims the description of that uh, TikTok video so that it is applicable to the YouTube shorts as well as the IG shorts. 
as you know, TikTok has about 2,000 characters, and uh, YouTube and IG Shorts only have a 100 character limit. So we need to set it up so that we can trim it to 100 characters. I wrote this uh, small JavaScript code here. You can also ask AI. I use ChatGPT to write it up. I take the input from the last variable and I just uh, shorten it to 99 characters and then store it into a variable called truncated caption. And I'm gonna use this caption for YouTube shorts as well as the IG short videos. Okay, I can move on to the next step here in this process, which would be a HTTP request. And you'll notice the input here on this uh, node is the truncated caption that I produced. Uh, using the code. So now I have a trimmed caption that I can use for the future videos. Okay, next up, I download the YouTube video from the URL. I'm using the get request using the HTTP method. And it basically downloads the uh, TikTok URL. Uh, remember the, from the get TikTok API, we have um, we have a variable called URL under playlist. Play URL, uh, it's uh, called URL. So we just drag it over into this field. So we download it into a local um, N8N database. And uh, we, we download it as a file. We call it data. And uh, this will be helpful for us to publish uh, to YouTube in the next step. So we go to YouTube on the next step. And if you don't have a YouTube account, you need to set up an authentication method with YouTube. I'm gonna show you how you can do that by going to Google Cloud Console. And then you're going to go to the console. You're gonna go ahead and click on new project. Set up a name for your project, click create. It's gonna set up the project. Once it's set up, click on enable APIs. You're gonna search for YouTube data API version three, click on that. Once it's uh, enabled, click on the authorization consent screen, second to the bottom. And then you're gonna fill out this form, put in your app name, developer's contact information, um, and go ahead and select credentials, web app, and then you're gonna get a client ID and a client secret as such. You're gonna go back to N8N, create new credentials, and this is where you're gonna put in the client ID and the secret. Okay, moving on, we're going to set the region, the category, as well as the input binary field. This is gonna be the same file that we just downloaded into the database, which is the TikTok video. It's called data. And okay, so the next, we're going to publish the Instagram video. We're gonna send a post request, and this is going to be the URL. The suffix is gonna be media. Go to business.facebook.com and then you're gonna to go to the settings and then you're going to go to your Instagram account. If your Instagram account is not connected to your Facebook page, then you would have to connect it. You'll get the Instagram account ID from here as such. I copied over mine and you're going to replace it here in the URL. Okay, next up, you're going to send the headers. This is going to be um, the name is going to be content type value. It's going to be application JSON. Then you're going to send two uh, fields as the parameters, which would be access token and the captions. So I'm going to show you how you can get your access token for uh, Facebook. Go to the note that I put at the at the top, click on it, and I set it up so you can uh, 
send a request to this URL. Grant type is gonna be Facebook access token, name, client ID, and client secret. This is uh, what you need to obtain from developers.facebook.com. So you're gonna go there, create a new app. Um, you can say business here, um, give it a name, and put in your email. Okay, the app should be ready. Just enable Instagram Graph API. Okay. Then you'll go to app settings, basic. And this is where you're gonna get the app ID and the app secret. You need another thing, which would be the access token. Ex yeah, exchange token. So what we're gonna do is go to tools, graph API explorer, get this token right here. Yeah, I know getting the Facebook token is a little bit complicated, but once you have this, you don't have to worry about it ever again. Once you populate the three fields and you test run, you're going to get the new exchange token, which you can use to send all your future uh, requests through HTTP to Instagram. And uh, you don't have to worry about them ever again. So at the bottom, when we're setting out the body parameters, this is where you're going to put in your new access token and put in a caption and a video URL. The video URL is going to be from the get TikTok uh, node. It's going to be the play URL and the URL right here. So you can just drag and drop that URL into the value field. For the caption value field, I'm going to get the trim caption and plug it in as there is a hundred character limit. Okay, once all, and also make sure the media type is reels. Once everything is populated, the next node is going to be just going to be a wait node. We're going to wait one minute. You could also wait 30 seconds. This will give time to create the container. And then we are going to take the container and publish it as a video for Instagram. So we need to do these two steps. And our last post call to Meta, make sure you change the URL to media publish and your Instagram ID send headers, send body, and uh, in the body section, make sure you put in your access token and creation ID. This is going to be the ID of the container we just posted in our last node. And once that is set up, this is going to be the respond to webhook node. And, th and this is going to respond with the message, your social media has been automated 3x once all the automations have been complete. See how easy that was? We learned, what is N8N? Uh, we learned how to set up an N8N workflow to automate content posting, obtain necessary APIs for TikTok, YouTube, and Instagram, and build our test and automation workflow. Resources for this video is gonna be linked in the description below, download it. If you're ready to take your content strategy to the next level, you'll get a, a JSON file you can just plug and play you don't have to worry about writing all the code and the automation uh, modules uh, you'll be able to just, uh, get up and running just replace it with your API keys and you're good to go also don't forget to join my free community the GPT pioneers club and uh, you'll get access to resources as well as network with like-minded individuals in the space thanks for joining me on this exciting journey until next time keep exploring and pushing the boundaries of what's possible with AI. Happy coding, GPT Pioneers, let's go.